Good evening. Um, I also just want to tell you, share this story with you. This is also one of my more favorite stories. Um, this this is, happens back in the 50s when a woman is going to the Chazanish. He was a big rabbi, a scholarly rabbi who lived in, in Israel at the time. Um, and he was very learned. And, you know, for the most part, the, the rabbis that are very learned, they stay and they learn. And then people come and they ask them questions. And the rabbi, you know, comes, helps them you know, with whatever the life situation is, because basically everything that really is in the Torah and the rabbi is able to do, you know, as far as how to help the person. Anyway, the lady comes to the rabbi. Uh, her mother w was very sick in the hospital and things like that, and she they gave her mother only two or three days to live. I think it was three days to live, and, you know, she's crying her heart out to the rabbi. You know, it's so sad. What can I do? What to do? And the rabbi goes, you know, God created the days and God created the world in, you know, six days, seven days, you know, you know, more or less, you know, pray, pray to God. He's the one who could handle this. He he sees the big picture. You know, we're in like a timeline. We only see our little, our narrow little thing, but there's a, a big picture that we also don't, we don't see. Um, he tells her, you know, go home, pray. So sure enough, what happens two or three days later? What happens is this penicillin comes to Israel for the first time, and they give penicillin to this lady, and sure enough, it killed the bacteria that was causing the problems, and she ended up having a complete recovery and living for another 20-some-odd years. Um, so again, not the point, not that he knew that the penicillin was coming to the country, not the things like that, but you know, we don't, I think the story shows that we don't know what our, what the possibilities are, what's out there, what's not out there, and that sometimes we just have to, you know, open up our hands and just say to God, you know, listen, everything is in your hands. You know, we're trying to do what you want us to do. And with that whole purpose of the thing, we need to learn what we need to do. You know, it's not intuitive. Some things, yes, okay, don't kill, it's very intuitive. But other things that God told us that he would like us to do, that's why we spend our lives learning. You know, what what does God want from us? And why, as a Jew, as a non-Jew, God wants certain things from different people. And we have to embrace whatever it is that he wants to do. We have to have a connection. One of the greatest stories that I have, and I'll repeat it again, it was the school of all schoolers. Well, schoolers like the people that read the Red Bangle, or they'll say certain prayers for 40 days in the hope that something is going to happen. Um, what, what else? What did he say? What did this rabbi say? I'm going to look at what his name is. He says, School of all schoolers is that people should pray every day because what God really wants is a connection to everybody. That he wants everybody to realize that, you know, him and the person has a connection and that we should be connected. That's what the purpose of this is. That's the purpose of, purpose of creation of the world, that we should be connected. So if we want, if anything, so God gives us different trials and tribulations because us, he wants us to make a connection. But if we're praying to him every day, throughout the day, praying to him, acknowledging, realizing that he's there for us all the time, then he doesn't wouldn't he doesn't need have the need to give the trials and tribulations because we already established the connection with him. Okay, have a good day. Thank you.